In an institutional uh, effort, we took a look at whether or not the addition of antifungal prophylaxis impacted outcomes in patients that received hypomethylene agent venetoclax. We asked this question because uh, venetoclax um, utilizes CYP3A4 um, hepatic enzymes for metabolism. And there are many drugs, including antibiotics and importantly antifungals, that also utilize the same proteins. Uh, when CYP3A4 moderate or severe inhibitors are used in combination with venetoclax that requires dose reductions and that's provided by the package insert. So people have been asking questions about whether or not do we need them, um, are they relevant, and does it impact outcome. What was really important to know was that there was some early phase data that Courtney DiNardo uh, led in the pharmaceutical effort to look at levels with in the presence of antifungal therapy, what's happening with venetoclax in the original phase one uh, study. And there looked to be very clear um, uh, recommendations for how we should adjust the venetoclax dosing because the therapeutic level does increase in the presence of a moderate or CYP3 inhibitor. But in the meantime, in clinical practice, what we're learning is a couple of things. One is, I think a lot depends on where you live and what's present, meaning that there are some infections that are endemic to certain regions compared to others. And so antifungal therapies might be absolutely critical, maybe in the Southwest, but may not be so in the Northeast where I'm located. So at our location, we took a look um, retrospectively at patients that received hypomethylene agent and venetoclax. And number one, we saw the rate of uh, antifungal, I'm sorry, the rate of fungal infections was really low. Um, and secondly, we saw that when we added antifungal therapy, it did not impact overall response. Um, because the rate of uh, fungal infection was indeed low, we found that we did not require prophylaxis for our patients. I think it really will be territory specific.